I am the creator of Pacific Films, John Chernoff, the co-creator, without one of me in the video for copyright reasons. Well, um, we hope you enjoy the video, and we thank Bill and the Athletics for using, for letting us use them. And no copyright intended. Hope you enjoy. Have fun. sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. We're joined by Associate Head Coach Baker Dunley after the Wildcats' big victory over the Iowa Hawkeyes to advance to the Sweet 16 round in Louisville on Thursday. Baker, I know you had the scouts. They talk a little bit about your philosophy. What, what, what did you try to shut down? Obviously, in the first half, you did a great job defensively. We did. We did. I just, just really felt like our guys were locked in, just in terms of their personnel. And uh, we wanted to make them uncomfortable early. And, and Utah and Jock are as hard to guard as any pair of guys we probably played next to Don and Ben Teal. And we, we were fresh off that game in the Big East Tournament where I thought we did a good job on those guys. So I think there was a little bit of carry over there, and our guys just started the game with great toughness. It just looked from the, from the outset, the group, would, offensively you were aggressive. Jalen especially looked like he was ready to go. Obviously Chris knocking down some shots. I guess uh, coming out of the locker room, do you sense a mindset as you head out on the court? Well, we tried to create one. You know, obviously there's a lot of discussion going into that game that could, that could make us tight, that could make us tentative. And, and we tried to just release ourselves from, from, from those ideas and just say, let's make this the most aggressive half of going over basketball we've played this year, and, and hopefully we can carry it going forward. Talk about going forward now. Obviously, you got somewhat of a quick turnaround. You're going to go Thursday. You're playing off a Sunday game. Obviously, you know you're going to play the Miami Hurricanes. Can you give the fans just a little bit of a look? What's the preparation? What's what's Monday like? What's Tuesday? What's Wednesday like as you get ready for Thursday? Yeah, probably most important the first day is, is getting our legs back, but also wrapping our minds over the around the next opponent. Um, obviously, they're an incredible team. Battle tested in the ACC. It's really good guards. Just just unbelievable coach. So we're, we're going to get ready for that, but mostly mental to start. I would say probably Tuesday is more of a physical day, and then back to you know Wednesday. We got we got to just really be on point in terms of our focus mentally because we can't wear these guys' legs out. We, we saw what they can do when they're fresh. Well, big congratulations! I know how much time you guys put in all year. It's got to be a great feeling for you and the rest of the staff. Thanks, Steve. It's, it's rewarding, and, and especially because we have such a great community of people supporting us. So we thank you guys. A lot about the second foul when coming out of the game, being upset. I mean, I guess that's one of the ultimate attitude moments that's going on right there. But, I mean, the mindset that you had when you came back out of the game, it seemed like it almost made you tougher. Definitely. Um, you know, that, that's what attitude is about. You know, regardless of what the call is, move on to the next play. Um, I think, and for me, the while, they were able to come out so aggressive. It's just because Mikael Bridges, De uh, Phil Booth, and uh, Daryl Reynolds. You know, when they came in, they elevated it. Um, you know, I'm not sure what the score is when I went out. <laughs> it was, it was a, a little too a little. Um, and they just came in, stuck to our concept, played defense, was able to get in passing lane. And Mikel had a, a huge steal and a layup, um, you know, on a press. Um, they, just, they were just playing defense, picking, you know, picking it up to another level. So I knew I was able to come in, you know, and still be, you know, be aggressive. Because when you have guys like that, you're not worried about, if you're in foul trouble, because you know you have, you know, great guys behind you. Defense rebounding, real big things in terms of what this team is trying to do. You guys won the war on the glass during the course of the night tonight, and it really seemed like your scout and your scouting report on them was very good because you took them out of a lot of the things they like to do. Yeah, Coach Bate. Uh, you know, Coach Bate, <laughs> Dunley B, he, he, he takes so much pride in, you know, scout, scout reports. You know, he... He's up there watching films all hours of the night, you know, getting getting us uh, prepared, um, you know, as prepared as we can be. So, you know, I got, you know, give him a lot of that credit. Uh, and then 
and give you know credit to these guys in the locker room going out and execute, executing that game plan, being able to take those guys out of their stuff. Um, so we knew if we do that, you know, we did that, we were going to have a pretty good shot uh, to win. Um, so we just took so much pride in, you know, executing, you know, that scout. There's people that think that you're playing the best basketball this team could possibly play. I just heard you say to somebody else, though, that you could. Providence, Villanova, sellout crowd in attendance at the dunk. And a steal. Here comes Hart, and he'll lay it up and in. Josh Hart so good at getting in the passing lane and great anticipation. Let's see if Dunn and Benzel can get themselves going. They dominated the first matchup two weeks ago. Let's see if they can do it again. Inside again, and the jam for Daryl Runnels. He has 15. Hart lets it go. Short. Done with the rebound. Here comes Providence. A basket here, and this place will go crazy. and improvement has come from going against Daryl every day. We've been telling Daryl, he's getting better, but so are you. No, one, no one's seen it yet, but today everybody saw it. I'm really happy for him. He's a great kid. Now you look ahead, obviously you're in first place with 10 wins in the league. What do you think about the next stretch of the season and how you get ready for postseason play? We, we only think about the next game. You know, we got to... Hopefully we get Daniel back, and, and, and we got to get better. You know, I think we really, since our Providence loss, we've gotten better and better. That game taught us a lot. And we just got to take it one time, game at a time and keep getting better every game. In Charlottesville, Villanova and Virginia. Early on, they're tied. Shot clock winding down. Malcolm Brogdon. To Darius Thompson along the baseline, the dunk. And UVA's up two. Now we're tied at 14. Nova's Phil Booth finds Mikel Bridges. Great cut back door to the hoop. The Cavs would trail a bit, then they go on a run. Brogdon to Isaiah Wilkins, has room at the free throw line, hits. Cavaliers on an 11-0 run, and that run would be capped off by London Prentice going to the rim. 33-29 UVA at the half. Early second half, Wahoos by two. Nova's Josh Hart steals the pass and finishes strong. Tied at 37. Virginia starts on another run, this time 14-0. Prentice. All the way through the paint. The basket goes and the whistle. He had 19 points, 15 in the second half. And then it's Prentice to Anthony Gill, who had 22 and 8 rebounds. UVA by 5. And when they really needed a bucket, Malcolm Brogdon steps up with a huge 3. He had 20 on just 8 shots. But that's because he went 12 of 12 from the free throw line. A great game for the Cavaliers. They win at 86-75. And they've been made to pay as a result. On the wing, Hart. The floor. Thomas rejected by Hart. Had a great sense of urgency. He's pretty bad. From two point range tonight. Wow. 68% overall. And win it by a final score of 85 71. Blue Jays, I think, have reason to be optimistic that Philadelphia's at another level. Are wounded but still dangerous. Will this be their day? The Villanova Wildcats, once again, the Big East regular season champs, are focused and poised to make a mad run through March. There won't be much love spread today. It's Georgetown, it's Villanova, it's the Big East on Fox. Hart in range, nice bounce pass to Sheffield.
decisions in the middle of the court versus the zone. Inside, interior passing, easy dunk for Darryl Reynolds. Close the gap for Bonnie Mazzetta. This team is good. I mean, it, it, I'm not going to say that I don't stay on the That's it. And Clemens picks up his second foul. Underneath, Ochefu. That's embarrassing. It sure is. And they go for three. Hart. Nope. Ochefu makes a miss. Yeah. That one, I think, went through, Vern. <laughs> Guards respect that that's what you want to do. You want to reverse to the other side, but you constantly look for somebody to track that shot and try to block it. Bridges off the glass. Brunson rally. From the corner, Brunson. Got it. From the corner, Brunson. Got it. Nice title team on the sideline. What a skip pass, huh? Beautiful. Oh, oh. The rejection. From Ahmad Wagner, number zero. After that terrific pass across the court. Oh, Wagner just times that perfectly, doesn't he? Uh, but uh, look at this. Look at him apart. Jay Wright's team has a clinic going on. What a dominating performance. Wow, another one. McCaffrey has seen enough. I don't know what he's going to say in this huddle, Fran McCaffrey, because Nova, they just need this to disappear and get to the break. Once again, Vern, you see where Hart got in trouble. Three guys collapsed on him, and Arch is smart enough as they come back with a two-on-one again. Here we go, layup. Oh, no. Be unselfish. Exactly. I mean, you have choices. In the regulation when Iowa fouled his three-point shooter, the cozy comes to the line, it's three huge free throws. Oh. Gets away with it. 